Welcome back to Carnadies.org. Today we're going to be continuing with our series, Dumbfounding Definitions, Dizzying Distinctions, and Diabolical Doctrines, a series sorting through some of the jargon of philosophy. In this video, we're going to be going back to some of the basic definitions of logic that we may have skipped over or done in larger videos in some of our series on logic. Today we're going to be looking at what is a valid argument. Now, there are two types of arguments, broadly, deductive and inductive. You can have abductive arguments. They kind of fit in within the realm of inductive arguments, but we're setting those aside for now. Now, deductive arguments are arguments whose premises claim that the conclusion must be true if the premises are true, whereas inductive arguments claim that the truth of the premises simply lends support or increases the likelihood of the conclusion. Now, there's a video that I have on deductive versus inductive arguments if you want some more information on those. But for now, we're going to dig a little deeper. So within deductive arguments, a type of deductive argument is a valid argument. Valid arguments can only be deductive. Any inductive arguments are invalid. And a subset of valid arguments, and therefore a subset of deductive arguments, are sound arguments. Within the realm of inductive arguments, you have strong arguments. They are a type of inductive argument. And within strong arguments, you have cogent arguments. So note these are kind of concentric circles. A sound argument must be valid and must be deductive. A cogent argument must be strong and it must be inductive. We're going to look at definitions of all these terms. We're starting with valid. We'll go to sound, then we'll go to strong, and then we'll go to cogent. All right, so a valid argument is a deductive argument where the truth of the premises actually implies the truth of the conclusion. What we mean by that is that there are no possible worlds in which the premises are true and the conclusion is false. It is logically necessary that if the premises are true, then the conclusion must also be true. If an argument is valid, note that this doesn't mean that the premises themselves need to be true. So, take the argument, Brooke is alive. If Brooke can play music, then he is alive. Therefore, Brooke can play music. This is a deductive argument. The premises are trying to show the truth of the conclusion, not just provide support for it. But it is an invalid argument. Why is that? Brooke could be alive, and it could be the case that if Brooke can play music, then he is alive. Because if ever the second half of conditional is true, the whole thing is true. So those first two statements could be true, and the conclusion could be false. Brooke could just be a person that can't play music. So it's an invalid argument. Even if it happened to be the case that Brooke could play music and all three statements were true, it would still be an invalid argument because there could be possible worlds in which the first two statements are true and the last is false. Next argument, string is stronger than steel. If string is stronger than steel, you cannot cut string with a steel blade. Therefore, you cannot cut string with a steel blade. This is once again a deductive argument. The premises are attempting to show the truth of the conclusion for sure. And it is a valid argument because if the premises are true, we can do a basic modus ponens and show that the conclusion is true as well. It's interesting because it's also an unsound argument because the premises are actually false, at least in this world. String is not stronger than steel. And so it would fail that test, but it's still a valid argument. You don't have to have true premises for an argument to be valid. One more. The fruit that Kaku ate tasted bad. The fruit that Khalifa ate tasted bad. The fruit that Sabo ate tasted bad. Therefore, all fruit tastes bad. This is an inductive argument because the premises are trying to make the conclusion seem more likely. They're trying to provide support for it. And being an inductive argument, it can't be valid. It is an invalid argument. And you can also check the invalid even separate from the inductive-deductive distinction. You can say, well, let's look. Are the first three premises, if they are all true, is it possible that the conclusion is false? Yes, it's possible that three specific fruits tasted bad and there's still fruits that taste good. So the argument is invalid. Next up, we're going to be looking at what is a sound argument. And then we're going to check out weak and strong arguments and then cogent arguments. Watch this video and more here at Carnades.org and stay skeptical, everybody.